where we are with regard to sustainability. And I'm going to jump right in with some information uh, that's going to require some uh, participation. Uh, but before I do, I, I want to note that you know, our program is a work in progress. Uh, I've been in this role for three years, and the program as a comprehensive program uh, is about that old. But we have been receiving energy awards uh, long before that formal program has been in place. And specifically, Westchester Division of our five campuses uh, has really been the front runner in many of the practices from recycling uh, to resource management. So I think that's really worth noting. Um, it's, a, it's a hats off to this group. So true or false? The New York Presbyterian spends approximately $64 million per year on energy costs. <coughs>
ads or our metrics. You can measure waste, you can measure energy, but how are you measuring the engagement of your staff? And so we adapted a program uh, from Harvard. They had a green office certification and we adapted it to New York Presbyterian in an effort to provide guidance to staff so that they could be helping us reduce energy, helping us reduce waste, etc., in a way such that we could track it. So we have a green workspace certification at four levels. And when you achieve one, you submit an application, you're reviewed, and then you get credit for being at that level. And here are some examples of some of the initiatives that are being driven forward through that program. So we have energy conservation, it's obviously a big one. We recycle at our organization, as I mentioned, both in administrative and in clinical spaces. That includes our operating rooms. And here are just some statistics of some of the, of the impact that we've had. We've reprocessed some of our clinical devices. This is a really interesting technique um, that, it, that actually does save a lot of money, but it prevents us from having to create new products all the time. Through the FDA uh, regulated process, we're able to send back some of our specific items like cath lab catheters, DVT sleeves, and they reprocess them, put new parts where they need to put new parts so that they're reusable and very safe for the patient. We also consider our blood drives part of our sustainability program. As blood is a resource that we need to conserve and renew, we think that this is just as important, and so we integrate it as well into our program. Many of these initiatives are, as I mentioned, spread through the green tips that we do every week, and the green champions are responsible for communicating that. And here's one example of a, of a green tip about that reprocessing program. We're meant to we keep them very interactive. We let people know what are the savings, what you can do in your area, why this is important to the environment. So here, oftentimes, what we want to encourage staff to do is to comply with the program. So we have a regular trash can and a reprocessing bin and so we say, we know sometimes on the units, maybe it's difficult for you to walk all the way down to the reprocessing thing. Maybe it's a couple of steps farther than the regular trash bin. But we ask you to do it because you're helping make an impact. We do communicate with our staff internally, uh, online, and as well, there's an external website. And we've been, uh, we're very honored to be part of this community. We're very honored to be part of the Green community. We're learning from others every day. Um, we think participating in forums like this are really important. And we want to continue that, uh, that, that momentum. And so we thank you very much for coming here today. And I think now is time for our, our panel. So I'm going to turn it back around to Danny. Thanks so much. Yeah.